In this segment, we are going to tackle a nutritional myth that has caused more problems with our health than it has helped. Now, how many of you today believe calcium is needed for strong bones? And how many of you grab your calcium pills or a glass of milk to help you stop your legs from cramping? Now, how many of you ladies watching today take up to 1,500 milligrams of calcium every single day because your doctor told you that you needed it to help prevent osteoporosis because you're going through menopause? Now, let me lower the hammer on the calcium myth. What we have been taught as fact was nothing more than a theory. Well, today, I'm going to explain to you how calcium and magnesium must be in balance. The scale has been tipped in favor of calcium far too long as magnesium is the mineral that needs more exposure. Well, think about this. From 1984 to 1993, our calcium levels increased 700%. And what researchers learned was that osteoporosis increased during the same time and did not improve our bone health. Now, have you noticed every food company fortified our foods with extra calcium? How many of you buy orange juice with the extra calcium in it? Well, it proves calcium is completely ineffective in preventing osteoporosis, a disease that is simply a nutritional deficiency. Now, for strong and healthy bones, we need calcium, we need magnesium, we need vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. And to put it mildly, calcium alone is a failed treatment for osteoporosis. Now think about this. An army general can't fight a battle alone. He has to have his troops with him to win. And guess what? Calcium and magnesium, vitamin D3 and K2 all need to work together for us to win in the areas of bone health. Now, you want to learn something else? When osteoporosis wasn't improved, heart disease increased during the same time period. Because if the bones aren't receiving the calcium correctly, your arteries are receiving the calcium. And there's a reason why they call it hardening of the arteries. You may think it's because of cholesterol, which can be part of the problem in some people, but calcium in the arterial wall is causing the hardening. And if you have osteoporosis, most likely you have hardening of the arteries. Now researchers have seen this hardening of the aorta, the largest artery in the heart in men as young as 35 years old. Now researcher Dr. Diane uh, Fisconic also found that too much calcium can cause some forms of arthritis calcium deposits around the joints, and even kidney stones, which can be displaced calcium from the supplements you're taking and even food. And what I want you to know is that calcium is a much needed mineral, but it needs to be directed to the right areas of the body. Now think about those who have had a heart attack. The heart is a muscle, and if your muscles cramp, it hurts. The heart can cramp, leading it to stiffen and cause damage and can kill you if the cramp is severe enough. It's pretty scary, and it is scary, and you need to understand the role of magnesium. That's right, magnesium is the new rightful king of the minerals, and you need it every single day. Dr. Carolyn Dean, the author of The Magnesium Miracle, teaches us how important magnesium is in the role of our bone health. Adequate levels of magnesium are essential for the absorption and metabolism of our calcium, Magnesium stimulates a particular hormone, calcitonin, which helps to preserve bone structure and draws calcium out of the blood and soft tissues back into the bones, preventing some forms of arthritis and even kidney stones. Now, calcitonin is produced by your parathyroid glands, that, which are four tiny glands behind your thyroid, which are about the size of a grain of rice. And also, magnesium suppresses another bone hormone called parathyroid, preventing it from breaking down the bone. And get this, magnesium converts vitamin D into its active form so that it can help calcium absorption into the bone. And magnesium is required to activate an enzyme that is necessary to form new bone. And also, magnesium regulates active calcium transport. And with all of these roles for magnesium to play, it is no wonder that even a mild deficiency can be a risk factor for osteoporosis. And it should be noted 
that over 70 to 80 percent of the population is deficient in magnesium. This means that seven to eight out of ten people watching my show right now are deficient in magnesium and you are showing physical, mental, and even emotional signs of a magnesium deficiency. Now how many of you are dealing with some of these problems right now? Think about this. Tension, sleeplessness, a calcium deficiency, poor heart health, there's muscle cramps, maybe even tremors, anxiety, stress, high blood pressure, even type 2 diabetes, maybe you have respiratory issues, maybe you're dizzy and fatigued, poor memory, and even confusion. Well, as you can see, magnesium plays a huge role in every area of our well-being. And magnesium is a major building block, yes, a major building block of every health system in our mind, our body, and our emotions. And I hope you're getting the picture that without magnesium, you could be taking medications for an ailment that is really nothing more than a magnesium deficiency. Now, how many of you right now are taking vitamin D? And hopefully, if you are, you're taking vitamin D3 because it's being touted as the answer to osteoporosis. But did you know magnesium is required for vitamin D metabolism? That means if you take the extremely high doses of vitamin D that medical doctors recommend, like 5,000 to 50,000 units, instead of a safe 1,000 units, you can nosedive into a magnesium deficiency and not know what's happening. And to make matters worse, vitamin D grabs calcium from your diet and it won't let go. When you start taking high doses of vitamin D, you can build up so much calcium that it overrides your magnesium and forces it out of your body. Too much vitamin D can overuse magnesium, it can block your magnesium, it can purge magnesium and propel people into a magnesium deficiency. I want you to know that we need calcium and vitamin D, but we need them all to work together, not leading to harm. You see, vitamin K2 and magnesium complement each other. Vitamin K2 helps to direct calcium to your bones and away from your arteries. Get the picture? Strong, healthy bones are not made by calcium alone, but are led by magnesium who directs vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and calcium in the right direction to benefit your whole body. Now there are dietary sources of magnesium which include sea vegetables such as kelp and dulse and nori and few people eat these on a regular basis however, if at all. Vegetables can also be a good source along with whole grains. However, grains must be prepared properly to remove the phytates and the anti-nutrients that can otherwise block your absorption of magnesium. Doctors, dietitians, and even some nutritionists will say that if you eat a good diet, you will get all the nutrients you require. Well, this is another myth. A hundred years ago, we received about 500 milligrams of magnesium in our healthy diet. Now we barely are getting a little more than 100, 100 milligrams. Maybe just about 118 milligrams is what they're saying because our soils have been so severely depleted. That said, when it comes to getting proper amounts of magnesium in my own personal diet every day, I like to ensure myself and take a proper supplement. That way, I'm not guessing or betting that my healthy diet is truly enriched with the right nutrients. Now, I like to use Natural Vitality's Natural Calm. It's been the number one magnesium supplement on the market for over a decade. I mix two teaspoons in a glass of water. I love the raspberry lemon flavor and they have great tasting flavors across the line and I take it every night at bedtime. And I want you to understand that magnesium is one of the most vital nutritional building blocks that the human body must have every day to be healthy. The subject of magnesium is so vast we barely touched on its full potential but we'll be covering every aspect of magnesium in the coming weeks because without this important nutrient we will have issues that medical science won't have a nutritional answer for. Well, we have something free to give away today. So take a look as today is your day for better health.